So if you are a cryptocurrency investor and you are tired of constantly unlocking your phone to look up your assets in CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko and such, I may just have a solution for you. But before I begin, please note that I'm not a certified financial advisor and this is by no means an encouragement to invest in crypto. Now let's get to it. To get started on this project, all you need is a TV or a monitor, a Raspberry Pi and a free account on CryptoWatch website. For those not familiar with the Raspberry Pi, you can simply watch my previous videos and have plenty of material to get anyone started. On the Raspberry Pi, the first thing we need to do is a quick update and upgrade. I have all the commands in the video description at the bottom. Now that we have all the updates, we can go ahead and configure our Raspberry Pi to automatically go to kiosk mode immediately on startup. Again, all the commands are in the video description. You can copy them to a flash drive or email them to yourself and grab them from there. Next thing we need to do is go to CryptoWatch and sign up for an account. The account is free. I already have an account, so I am going to go ahead and sign in. Here you can see that I have already added some coins, so yours will only have I think Ethereum and BTC. As you add more coins, you will need to click on expand to view all your coins. To add coins, simply click on the plus sign and type in the coin name. These are all the coins that I've already added to my account. To delete a coin, click on the small x to the right and that will take it out of your watch list. I am adding these two coins as an example only. I am not making any recommendations. This is for training purposes only. Up on the right corner, you can change the language and your preferred currency. Down in this drop down menu, you can choose to view the currencies by market cap, volume, best performing and worst performing in the last 24 hours. Up in these three lines, you can customize what you want to see on the screen. And this is my favorite part of CryptoWatch. When you first sign in, all these options will be turned on for you. As you can see, I turned some of mine off. So I'm going to go ahead and flip alerts and portfolio to enable them. Next, I am going to click on track my holdings, select MFA, scan the QR code. I do that using Google Authenticator in my case, and I enter the authentication code to confirm and enable the 2FA. Once authentication is complete, we can go back to the home page and click on connect to the exchange. There are different requirements for different exchanges. You will need to log into your exchange and get the API information from the exchange. If you choose to track all your assets in here, you may do so, but you may just want to use this website to keep an eye on crypto prices. I am not going to add my API keys here for obvious reasons, but the process of linking CryptoWatch to your exchange is fairly simple. As soon as you plug in all your API keys, CryptoWatch will pull all the data from your exchange. Now all I have left to do is give the Raspberry Pi a quick restart and it should go immediately to kiosk mode and display our website. If you need further resources on how to get your API keys, feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to share some knowledge. And that is all I have for you today. If I was helpful at all, please like, share and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.